Holy shit, he was able to make two videos that go up in the same day wearing the same shirt with the same hairdo. It's almost like he's starting to plan these things a little bit more effectively and better, eh? Who knows? Maybe these cold openings will just be a permanent fixture of my videos. Maybe. This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! discussion, and it's going to be on something basically ban list oriented, because honestly, I feel like there's a lot to talk about here in this specific, like, area, and it has to do specifically with True Draco, specifically Masterpiece, the True Draco Slaying King. Now, there are a lot of speculations of what could be done on the next ban list that we are inevitably going to get, because if we don't get a ban list, even though we've transitioned into Link era, literally nothing from the next set, Code of the Duelist, matters. Because if we do not get a ban list, Zodiac will still be the best deck, and True Draco will still be right on its heels, if not one of the variants of Zoo that is the best deck. This is because Dryden't is a son of a bitch, and Masterpiece is a motherfucking nightmare. But anyway, I see people discussing what could happen on the ban list as far as what Zoo and True Draco go for, and I'm going to be focusing more on True Draco for this video because, I mean, I've already made an entire video talking about what they could potentially do to Zoo to kill it, so I mean, I'm not trying to do that again because holy shit. So for this video, I just want to express my opinion of what I believe that Konami should do to take the proper measures to hinder the true Draco engine, but not outright kill it, because it's such a unique engine for the game that isn't really that problematic on its own. It just has some really problematic cards in it, i.e. Masterpiece, the true Draco Slaying King. Why is this card a thing? I don't know. Chalk it up to very, very, like, just over-the-top card design. But there is a lot of things that could be done on the next ban list to the True Draco theme. In the OCG, they limited Dragonic Diagram and they limited Masterpiece at the same time. Now, I think that this is probably an incorrect approach to take for the theme going forward, especially in the TCG, considering how fresh it is to us having just been released in Maximum Crisis. Personally, I think the solution to this in the TCG is just going to be to outright ban Masterpiece and leave Dragonic Diagram alone. Now, the reason I say this is because, yes, the deck has access to cards like Metaltron, and then it has all the little guys, but outside of Masterpiece, none of these cards are actually just insanely broken or, like, in like incapable of, uh, of being countered or dealt with. Masterpiece is literally just the problem in the entirety of these situations. Masterpiece has an effect on the game like Cosmo Dart Destroyer and Apocalyphort Towers did, whereas it has like this weird combination of both of these effects, except that it's better because it can pop cards on all the turns rather than just during either your turn with Towers or when it hits the board with Dart Destroyer. Like, it's, it's such an insane card when you actually look at it, and then when you think about the cards that you're using to summon it, they're usually cards that are going to the graveyard that are like the spells and traps that are taking a card with them as well. So, not only does Masterpiece take a card with him every turn he stays on the board, in the process of summoning him, he could very easily take a card with him as well in terms of tributing the trap to just, just pop a monster and disrupt plays. Personally, I don't think Dragon Diagram needs to be touched at all because if you look at the amount of decks that are capable of using it, like Dragon Diagram is usable in the True King theme, it's usable in the True Draco theme, and all of the little True Draco monsters like Ignis Heat, Dynamite Fighter, and uh, Majesty Maiden, those are all really well designed. The entire True Draco theme itself, outside of Masterpiece and to a lesser extent Metaltron, are perfectly well designed. You get good card economy for what you're messing with. You still have the capability of using the little dudes to tribute summon on your opponent's turn to get disruption with the traps and the spells and sort of nonsense. You get multiple bypassings of your normal summon, all that sort of stuff. And then Dragonic Diagram just kind of ties it all into its own little 
nice and neat package. Metaltron is even arguably not that big of an issue or a threat because even though it is bigger than Masterpiece only by a tiny amount, it's much harder to summon requiring three tributes rather than two that Masterpiece requires, and then while it is on the field, it is unaffected by potentially every card type in the game, it does not destroy cards while it just sits on the field staring you in the face, and that's the problem that Masterpiece has. Any out that you would have to Metaltron is usually going to be something like Utopia the Lightning, which automatically counters its other effect of when it goes to the grave it summons anything from the extra deck, whereas if you try to make Utopia the Lightning in the face of a Masterpiece, that Utopia the Lightning is probably getting popped. That's the problem. Masterpiece as a card is just a son of a bitch of card design. It has ways to make itself unaffected by multiple card types in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh based off of what your matchup is. You can make it very, very specific and fine-tuned to what you need for the situation. And then while it's unaffected by these cards, it's a big boss monster. And then while it's a big boss monster that's unaffected by cards, it can destroy whatever threatens it. That's where the problem lies. In the OCG, like I said, they limited Masterpiece and they limited Diagram, but I believe this to be incorrect. I believe Masterpiece should 100% be banned and leave the entire rest of the True King Drew Draco like theme alone. Decks will be able to abuse Dragonic Diagram in differing ways that don't involve doing these things that just set up this card that's such a son of a bitch to deal with. Masterpiece is such a an inherent problem and is incredibly flawed in terms of its card design because of just what it does. <laughs> Did anybody at Konami read this card and was like, yeah, that's all right. It can be unaffected by things, cool. It's big, sure. It can pop cards during either player's turn, <laughs> all right. Even that's not too big of an issue when you're just putting it in a vacuum where you can't tribute spells and traps for it because if it's just unaffected by monster effects, that's kind of cool. That's kind of all right. I mean, it's it's still it's still difficult to deal with to a certain degree and certain extent, but it's not over the top. But then when you're putting in, it can be tributed by tributing continuous spells and traps to gain extra immunity. All right, that's where we're starting to get to the extreme area. And then when you factor in the deck that it's meant to be put in, tributes spells and traps on your turn and my turn. And then, also, these spells and traps have effects when they hit the graveyard to pop monsters or pop spells and traps. And then you have to deal with the masterpiece that's immune to X things and can pop another card. That's when things start getting way, way too out of hand. Personally, I think the true Draco archetype outside of masterpiece is very well designed. You have all these little dudes. They gain advantage based off things your opponent does. The spells and traps are decent. They're very well designed. And you could very easily use a deck focused around the little motherfuckers without Masterpiece. It would definitely be a very strong rogue option, if not still a contender for tier 1 status because of how well Dragonic Diagram meshes with cards that exist now and are coming out in the future that just trigger when they're destroyed. Dragonic Diagram as a card is such a shame of a card to have to lose because it supports two themes very well. It 100% supports the True King theme because the True King theme is all about destroying your cards and getting the extra advantage. I just don't think the Dragonic Diagram necessarily needs to take the hit for something that it enabled. Hit the problems, not the enablers. And Masterpiece is the problem. Without Masterpiece, I don't care about Dragonic Diagram nearly as much other than the fact that it is an enabler and an engine card to allow plays to be started. Do not hit cards that allow plays to be made. Hit cards that allow plays to be stopped. And where basically the entire like cosmos and ethereal energy and thought processes and whatever you want to say it is about Yu-Gi-Oh come to a point where play is stopped because of this card is on the table then that's the card you need to be dealing with. You don't need to be hitting the cards that get you there, you need to be hitting the card that is there. But all in all, I think Konami might have the tendency to fuck up on this one. They, It's really hard to judge because on one hand, they banned towers in the TCG, but then they limited Dark Destroyer. And this card kind of falls weirdly in the middle of this area of where like, it's a better Dark Destroyer, but a I wouldn't even want to say a worse Towers. It's like as good as Dark Destroyer and as good as Towers. So I don't know if they're going to be banning this card or not, but if they wanted to, 
they most definitely could easily just ban Masterpiece, and I believe that is definitely the right approach. Like I said, do not hit the cards that allow you to play the game, hit the cards that prevent you from playing the game, and that is what Masterpiece is. Without Masterpiece, the True Draco theme and True Draco deck will still be alive and kicking super strong, and then you have the True King variants that could come out of it as well. Dragonic Diagram, like I said, is such a fucking good card for enabling play and complicated play and innovation in Yu-Gi-Oh! It would be such a shame to lose a card like that. It would be a huge, huge shame, but the TCG could easily go the route that the OCG went and limit Dragonic Diagram and limit Masterpiece, in which case, I for one, am going to be very unhappy, because one, I don't get to play all these cool ideas for the future that could use Dragonic Diagram as nearly effectively, True King variants get a huge hit to consistency, and I still gotta deal with the Masterpiece that's just trying to dick slap me. <sighs> all in all, this is just a little semi-informative kind of ranty video. People said they liked this when I did it previously for the link format thing. So I was like, sure, we'll do another one. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands right now. I'm a very, very emotive person when it comes to talking with my hands. It's something I do a lot. The people who have met me in person and know me in person can attest to this. Cannot stop using the hands. But those have been my opinions. Let me know of yours in the comments down below. Like I said, in short, I feel like Masterpiece needs to literally be banned. Metaltron is not that big of a problem because it doesn't pop cards just by naturally existing on the board. It has some cool other effects and it is effect unaffected by potentially more things, but it doesn't take cards with it just by sitting there. And that's where Masterpiece becomes a problem and Metaltron isn't. There's a reason we're playing Masterpiece and not Metaltron. Metaltron requires three tributes instead of two. Metaltron doesn't pop cards. Although Metaltron can summon some broken shit from the extra deck if it dies, we have countermeasures and checks for that as well. So we can actually feasibly out this card and then the true Draco theme without Masterpiece is still just as strong as it could be as a rogue option or a low tier 1 option because of how well Dragonic Diagram meshes with the true king and true Draco themes in other decks. Like I said, for the upteenth time it would be a huge shame to lose a card like Dragonic Diagram just because Masterpiece is fucking around ruining everyone's day. <laughs> but anyway, that has been my opinion for this video. Again, like I've already said, let me know of yours in the comments down below. Super curious to hear about them and read them and all that sort of jazz. But other than that, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe as you usually do. Links, as always, are in the description of my Facebook and Patreon pages if you want to support the channel directly, support the content that I make, support my ability to make content, help some future projects come into fruition a bit faster because I want to do some live duels, I want to do some other things, and that requires a little bit better of a camera setup. I want to do some live streaming that requires a little bit more stable of a system as well all the things from patreon are going towards the improving of this channel and if that's something you want to contribute towards as well as getting some things back through the reward tiers then definitely go check that out and you would have my eternal gratitude but other than that like i've already said let me know your com your uh, your opinions in the comments down below kind of had a brain fart there for a second i started mixing words around in the wrong order i'm just gonna stop explaining it essentially but anyway Thanks for watching, as I've already said. Thank you for your time as usual, and take care, guys. I will see you in the next video.